Hello everybody, my name is Lou Reyes and welcome to Over 50 TV. In this episode, I'm going to tell you why I expect a signed, sealed, and delivered stimulus bill to happen later this week. But before I do that, what I want to do is I'm going to bring you up to date on stimulus bill negotiations. I'm also going to tell you some of the key provisions, provisions I think you can expect to see in a new stimulus bill. And I'm also going to tell you the reason why it's likely that the deal will get done before both houses go on their scheduled summer recess at the end of this week. That's all up next right here on Over 50 TV. <laughs> Welcome back to Over 50 TV. While new cases of the coronavirus are soaring again in the Midwest, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer are meeting this weekend with White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows and Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin. They're meeting to negotiate a new stimulus bill to save families. And when I mean save families, I mean that literally. Without new stimulus relief measures, 13.8 million struggling families will no longer be protected from eviction. And without a new stimulus bill, over 30 million Americans now on unemployment because of the coronavirus pandemic, they won't have enough money to pay for basic necessities. So the question is, will these weekend negotiations finally result in an agreement, an agreement on a new stimulus bill? Well, the key stumbling block at this point anyway is the fundamental differences both parties have regarding the $600 enhanced unemployment benefit. Democrats, Democrats want to keep the 600 weekly benefit till the end of the year. Republicans want to whittle the $600 down to 70% of a person's pre-layoff wage. Most economists they agree the $600 benefit has been a key driver of the economy, and without it, they believe, GDP will suffer and more families and businesses will be severely impacted. So finding common ground on this provision is one of the most important elements of any new stimulus package. The Republicans introduced their $1 trillion stimulus bill six days ago. To say it wasn't well received is an understatement. Democrats immediately pounced on it as being inadequate and self-serving. Many fellow Republicans, some who saw the provisions for the first time, denounced it as wasteful, fiscally irresponsible, and not wholly targeted to solving the economic and health crisis. Republicans no doubt felt the same about the $3 trillion stimulus proposal that Democrats introduced three months ago. So where do we stand I believe a deal will get done before both houses go on their scheduled summer recess at the end of next week. I also believe the Democrats will come out on top in negotiations for two simple reasons. First, the Democrats have the ability and willingness to stall any deal, a deal the president desperately needs if he has any chance of getting reelected. Second, the president tipped his hand. He's publicly agreed to some of the Democrats' proposals. He's also caved in on some of the key provisions that were important to his negotiators. Obviously, he hasn't read his book, The Art of the Deal. On Wednesday, President Trump told reporters that wants to move quickly to approve a partial extension of unemployment benefits, which is something most people want, and an extension of a federal eviction moratorium, which expired on Friday. Trump did not mention the liability shield. Now, that doesn't mean Democrats will get all they want. They certainly won't get their $3 trillion stimulus bill, but they never expected to. Democrats will get key provisions they pushed for. They'll get their $600 per week enhanced unemployment benefits or something close to it. Trump says he wants to take care of the people. He's even mentioned he'd like the benefit, that benefit, to be increased. Yes, he sent mixed signals on the amount, but he'll sign off on this provision eventually. Democrats? Democrats will cross Mitch McConnell's red line and delete his liability shield. The provision from the Republican Heals Act, the White House has already said they would be willing to sign off on a deal that lacks this deterrent to lawsuits over coronavirus-related claims. White House Press Secretary Kayla McEnany, she told reporters on Friday that the liability shield was Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell's priority. In other words, it's no longer the president's priority. The Republican proposal includes no new funding for state and local governments. Democrats, they want $870 billion. Both parties, 
They know the economic fallout of the pandemic. It's resulted in more than 1.6 million municipal employee layoffs throughout the crisis. Republican lawmakers in the Trump administration, they've said they don't want to provide funding to states that are poorly managed. It's hard to imagine they'll hold that line. Denying funding will likely result in more layoffs of public employees, including teachers, firefighters, police officers, and health care emergency and sanitation workers. Dems won't agree to any deal that doesn't help those folks. Also look for the Democrats to pull the building permit on President Trump's proposed $1.5 billion FBI headquarters. That's not a red line for Trump. He may even realize it was a mistake to insist it be added to the HEALS Act. Plus, that provision is a drag in negotiations, and it has little to no support from lawmakers on both sides of the aisle. So why do I think we'll have a deal by the end of the week? Well, number one, this is an election year. Candidates, they're keenly aware of the importance of keeping voters happy. Republicans, they also want to hold on to their majority in the Senate. They know Senate races, most of them are tight, and Republicans, I believe, will compromise because they don't want to be accused of hurting families. They want and need their votes. Plus, plus, I believe both parties, deep down, they want to do the right thing, which is to help families and prop up an economy that's been devastated by the coronavirus pandemic. With important deadlines already passed and pressure to do a deal mounting by the day, I expect White House negotiations with the House leaders will result in a stimulus bill later this week. Well, that's all I've got for you today, folks. As you know, this is an ongoing story. Things change. It seems they change by the minute. Uh, I'll keep you updated as often as possible. I will ask you, though, if you would, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. All you need to do is hit the little red subscribe button. It's underneath the screen. There's also a little bell. If you hit that little bell, you'll get our latest updates and they'll be delivered right to your inbox. Hey, if you like this video, please go ahead and give us a thumbs up. That lets me know that you enjoyed the video and that you found that it was important and relevant. Well, as I always say, have a great day, everybody. Oh, 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 oh,